Welcome back, cadets. I hope you're ready for your next mission because we've got a lot planned for you this week. Do you remember to turn off the lights when you left your rooms in the morning? That was Galileo's green message for us. Has anyone seen our green gorilla friend? I hope he isn't getting into trouble. Ow! Oh, hot, hot. Woo, that's smart. I didn't see how all those other animals that got sent to space did that. Did what? What did you do? In astronaut school, we learned that animals used to be sent up into orbit in satellites. That's right. Dogs, cats, mice, spiders, monkeys, spider monkeys, chimps, all have been sent into space. Uh-huh, and since I'm in space now, I figure I better get to it. Get to what? I sat on a light, or your desk lamp anyway. Don't do that, mm. cadets. It may sound cool, but it's hot. Really hot. No, when we say satellite, we don't say sat on a light. It's satellite. S-A-T-E-L-L-I-T-E. -E. We mean something that stays close by. There are human-made satellites like the Hubble telescope that are nat and are natural satellites like the moon. The one of the things we're going to talk about today is the moon. Did anybody see the moon last night? Was it big and bright or was it just a little bit of a sliver? Do you know what the moon was? Did you see the moon? The moon is the Earth's only natural satellite. It's always near us, even when we can't see it. The same can be said about God. God is with us always. Sometimes it may be harder to see or feel the presence of God. Presence! I love presence! No, not presence like gifts, Galileo. That is P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S. This kind of presence, God's presence, is P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E, -E -E, and it has to do with being close by. But when you think about it, God's presence is like a present, isn't it? Oh, wow. Now you've made my head hurt. Maybe you understand after our mission briefing. That means we need to wake up the VBS GPS. Then you'll need to tell us the praise phrase for today, Commander. Oh, that's not easy. The praise phrase for today is our God is incredible. Praise God. Got that? So when you hear somebody say, our God is incredible, you say, praise God. All right, let's try that. Galileo will lead that half of the room, and I'll lead this half of the room. Start up, uh, start us off, Galileo. Let them hear you back home, everybody. Ready? Our God is incredible. Praise God! Our God is incredible. Praise God! Let's oh, turn on the VBS GPS and use our praise phrase to wake it up. Uh, our God is incredible. Praise God. God. Hmm. What? Well, I, I, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, cadets. I'm glad to see your last mission was a success. Today's mission takes us to a still small place high above the surface of the Earth. The moon. Earth's only natural satellite. It has no air, but a lot of dust. It orbits the Earth 250,000 miles away. If your parents tried to drive there on vacation, it would take 130 days. On July 11th, 1969, the Apollo 11 mission was the first in which humans landed on the moon's surface. They collected samples of rocks and dust and brought them back to Earth. The moon itself does not produce light. What we see is the sun's light reflecting off the moon's surface. Because the moon spins at about the same speed as it orbits the Earth, we're always looking at the same side of the moon. It just looks different because of what we call moon phases, where the Earth is in relation to the sun determines how much of the moon we can see. Even though we can't always see it, the moon is always there, just that God is always there for us. VBS GPS, can you show us where today's Bible lesson takes place? Elijah discovered God's nearness during his time in the wilderness near Mount Horeb. Mount Horeb is also said to be the place where God gave Moses the Ten Commandments and where the events that take place in the book of Deuteronomy occurred. Today's mission is to consider the relationship between the Earth and the Moon and how it is similar to the relationship you have with God. The Creator is with us, even when it seems like we're all alone. All the
this moon talk is making me sleepy. Good luck, cadets, and Godspeed. There you have it, cadets. Your mission is to learn about how the moon stays by the Earth, even when we can't see it. Think about how that relates to God's presence in our lives. Commander, the VBS GPS left out some stuff about the moon that I already knew. Really? Like what? Well, the moon is really made of green cheese, and when the moon is full, you should stay inside because you might turn into a were-gorilla. Oh, a were-gorilla? Here, gorilla. Ha 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 You got me. There, cadets. Ha 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 ha. There, commander. Ha 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 ha. Okay, cadets, I think, uh, I think the gorilla has gone off, Galileo's gone off topic here. You have your mission. We'll meet back here for the debrief. Cadets dismissed.